Welcome back to Urban Rush, everyone. You know, it's always scary when a couple of professional hairstylists are here, and one of whom, I won't name who, looked at me right now and said, are you doing a side part? Are you growing that thing out? <laughs> yes. Oh, no. Lance Blanchett and Martin Hillier are joining us from our favorite place, the Lounge Hair Studio. How are you both? Gentlemen, Great, how are you? Thank thank you. Thank you. I thought side parts were in for guys. Oh, God. Well, you know what? At some point, but you know, yours is quite bold, really. <laughs> I like it. And we have you two sitting down today because uh, we always have you here doing hair, but we want to talk uh, to you about what you do all over the world. Lance, maybe you can tell us about what you and Martin do as well as your team at the salon. Uh, well, it ranges quite a bit. Uh, it ranges from fashion show type events that we do, uh, educational events, photo shoots. Uh, some of the stuff that we've done uh, is actually, uh, you know, television <laughs> and, and that kind of there? stuff, you know. Uh, he turned yeah, to Martin and Martin went, I don't know, God, how do I know what we do? Yeah, like some of the stuff that we do, like we did fashion uh, shows in Toronto for some charity events, uh, New York Fashion Week, which is, uh, you know, its own little animal. Cool. Um, and How did this all, all start for you guys, Martin? I mean, because you, literally you're on the cover of magazines now, people interview you. Uh, it's, a, it's just a process of moving up through um, working in the salon, then moving into um, education, and then from there being uh, scouted out, and then being asked to do other things like uh, session work with magazines, um, bringing out collections, and from there doing more international. So, you know, it's a build-up like any career over a period of time. Yeah. Now we travel all over International the, the world. superstars. Um, let's talk about some of your work. Uh, this is uh, Cosmo here. Maybe we can talk about what uh, what's, uh, this article's all about, because I don't read Mandarin? <laughs> Yeah. Me neither. <laughs> yeah, I'm out. I'm out. That's, no, that's, no, I'm out. That's, a, that's an article that was done for Cosmopolitan in Hong Kong. Um, Lance and I were asked to fly out uh, as two parts of the three-member team uh, of international artists to go and open the Shiseido um, distributorship there, and oh, they fine. had a massive show. Uh, 1,200 people in the audience. It was full theatre. People flew in from seven different countries. Really? So we had a lot of different press from different yeah. countries, and Cosmo was one. We also did Cosmo in, in London as well, but that's a, that's a different thing. But yes. Yeah, so Any right. idea what the article actually says? No, that's why we're just, we're sure it's fine. <laughs> we're just, yeah, we're, <laughs> we're, okay. we're pretty certain it's all right. Okay, uh, you guys, uh, when you're talking about having an audience, maybe you can explain a little bit more, because we're going to look at some photos, but what is it like for you guys doing hair in front of 1,200 people? I mean. What really kind of pressure is there? Oh, God. That's, I mean, it depends. I mean, some audiences are really easy to work with, and some of them are not. I mean, we've been to New York, and New York is like, you know, talking to a heckle? wall. Uh, <laughs> some do, you know, really. If your show's, you know, not doing what you'd hope it would do, and they're sitting there telling you, well, I know better than this, and, you know, it ranges from there. They'll yell it out. But, yeah, well, most of the time they're okay, right? You yeah. know, but yeah. every so often New York is, is Okay, Martin, we're going to look at your work first. Uh, let's have a look at the first photo here. Maybe you can tell us uh, what's going on in this pic. Basically, talking about waves, that, that, that whole 1940s thing, it's been going a while now. You see it on the red carpet all the time. And this is a, a spiral wound version which makes it a more modern uh, idea of it. Whenever you see hair falling over the face, and that's always sexy, and like coming up for full winter, you're gonna see a lot more of this sort of thing as well. People want it for the evenings out. Am I, am I working it? So a little it? more. Am oh, I, you could do am it. Am yeah, I you, working you, it, yeah? Should totally. Fiona have a you're little more of a wave and a the curl break. in her hair? Yeah, I mean, the, the nice thing is when you've got this length hair, you can do both. You can take it from one yeah, to the I other. Think. Texture's back, so yeah. I think you look great with a side part. Oh, well, you have Well, look at that, part. yeah. Well, what do you okay, know? That is a little bit of the Amy Winehouse This is the Amy thing, yeah. Totally back in, and you're definitely seeing young people doing it. I just flew back in a couple of days ago from England. You are seeing not just celebs, but it's a fun look. Back combing, yes, definitely. But it's it's more messy, but it's that look. Yeah. Is this doable by yourself? Or you would have to um, go to a salon to do this kind yeah, of thing, but wouldn't you? You can do version of it yourself, but I mean, yeah. Uh, it's I, never gonna Amy look. obviously does her own at times. <laughs> <laughs> obviously. Yeah, sometimes. I love uh, it. Let's look at the next one here. Uh, what's going on in this picture? This is uh, a messier, just had a good time look. Um, it's, it's people like to throw their hair off. If you look at the red carpet, they want it done, but they don't want it looking like they've just been to the hairdressers. Yeah, it's and that so, messy bun that you see, the messy updo yeah, that's not too finished. Exactly. People will do it for themselves, or they'll come in and get it done, and they want it messy. They don't want it just done. So people come be, in and say, come in, yeah. mess up my hair, please. Can exactly. that be a bit of a challenge? I mean, as a stylist, to, to make it look great you without have looking to, like you exactly. made it look Exactly. You've got to re-bend the rules and remember that everything's evolving, and young people don't want to look like their grandparents. You know, yeah. I mean, they want something.
something new and, and trendy, and that's where it's at. Okay, uh, this is a great picture wow, here. Tell that. us about this volume. This, yeah, I mean, obviously it takes us back because she's in a big way. Um, but this is, <laughs> session, yeah, this is session work, this is magazine, this is articles, this is that stuff that you see in a magazine that kids go, oh, wow, that's the amazing. Fashion, yeah. yeah. And what you do is you bring it down from that to a level that it's you like can... It's like the runways. You take absolutely. the clothes down a notch or two. This is yeah. the same thing, You do an Alexander hair. McQueen, and you bring it down to a level where you can wear it on an everyday basis. Well, it's amazing how inspirational that, that things like that, when people see them, the visuals, they go, mm -hmm. wow, I love that. But Absolutely. Really and the more our stuff gets seen, again, that's another way that more people phone us up and say, hey, can you do a, an article in a mag? Can you do shots for this or whatever? You know, okay, nice. Lance, we're going to look at some of uh, your work here. This is gorgeous. Yeah. Uh, thank you. This was a show I just did actually a couple of weeks ago in, in Quebec. Uh, it's really fun, very much now. It's got like a, a rose-colored pink highlight through blonde hair. We're seeing a lot of the rosy pink oh, issues. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. In, in, in clothes and in the hair. And for her, it was a very disconnected feel. She's got curly hair, and it works quite well having a you know a disheveled feel to it as well. A little very bit cool. of everything. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do you develop a real personal style as, as a stylist? I mean, can, can you pick people, or is part of the art form learning how to work in many different ways? <laughs> I think that's it there. I mean, for myself, I, I people always, you know, ask me, you know, whatever success means. What does success mean to you? And for me, it's about forgetting everything I've learned. You know, if you sit there and you, you sit there rebelliously say, this is what I love to do, this is what I love to do, this is what, you're not going to go into something yeah. different. Right. So some of the looks that we're doing um, that are for haute couture fashion, um, they're huge statements and they're quite and a bit different than... like art that way. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. I mean, and for me, it's, if I inspire people to love or hate it, we've done it right. You know, right. if we sit there and they have no comment it's whatsoever... A, love. Yeah. I yeah. love this uh, one. Yeah. This is actually, again, uh, you know, a, a different type of work that we did. This is a fashion show that was done here. Again, uh, with, uh, you know, Martin's curl, sexy kind of feel. Very playful uh, and very much a very now look as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and once again, done but looks really loose and yeah, free and exactly. casual. <laughs> That's her natural hair color. This you one? like that? Yeah, it's yeah. Beautiful. This is a big look, though, and it's very yeah. '80s. Uh, you know, it's in, a lot of it is inspired from the '80s, yeah. but we don't necessarily want to go back to that. Because the '80s was a bad con well, connotation. Well, you know, the biggest thing that I think the '80s uh, has as a name is they made took this hair that was disconnected and made it crazy big. The same kind of looks that we have are inspired by that, but the styling is different. It's mm -hmm. smoothed out. It's got a bit more shine, a bit more polished feel to it. Uh, and her hair is actually long and then disconnected all over the place. Love the color, too. Yeah, like, it's a beautiful, vibrant red. I got to say, hair models, quite brave sometimes. I mean, to go in there and to say, whatever you got to do, do it. You mm. know, the funniest thing is, is so often we'll go to some cities and they'll say, oh, I, I could never do that. But all of these girls are every city we go to, you know, and they're like begging for us to like, you know, <laughs> to do what like they want. Like this color here. This is gorgeous. Uh, yeah, it's a beautiful, very rich mahogany with some bold reds through it. Again, she's got fantastic texture. Curl, which again, Martin has been talking about, is in. And for her, it works My quite well as well. Curl, can you guys make it curl for me? Yeah, you can. Please. There's so many different ways of putting <laughs> texture in the hair just for the evening and whatever that you can, you can definitely get it done. I mean, this is a good season coming up for just playing around and doing different looks. Can you My hair won't hair? stop falling out. Can you make it stop falling out for me? <laughs> yeah, well, I can give you a bag. <laughs> <laughs> Modern pharmaceuticals. Uh, if you want to see some of the best hair uh, stylists in the world, of course, you can go to the lounge. They do everything there. Uh, the Great Lengths Hair Extensions, yes. which I've had before, are fabulous. Yep. Pretty much everything. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Thank you Thanks for joining us. Having we us. appreciate Thanks. it. Side part no on Mikey? Oh, go it for it. It great. Keep it. Yeah. And then uh, on one side, lift it out to asymmetrical. So enthusiastic, both of you. <laughs> eh, keep it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I love your boots, it. by the way. Thank You're you. talking to me, I'm pretending. <laughs> uh, we're going to take a break, and when we come back, uh, we better. are going to be talking about the 100 greatest Canadian sports moments. Don't go away. I was number 101. Just missed. For that. <laughs> For this. <laughs>